Hello everybody, and today we're going to try to solve the mystery of the good old dummy finger for ourselves. Uh, well, not technically solve it for ourselves, but at least get it done, because at the end of it, evidently there is a item you get for solving it that travels over to the full game. I don't know what it's used for, but if it's an item you can use, I want to use it. So we're going to skip past this just to hurry up and get into the actual game itself and figure it out. Now there is a lot of details and stuff that you have to do in order to get this. If you don't do it a certain way, evidently, you won't get it. So, I kind of will give a step-by-step -step thing of what you're going to need to do. Of course, as we do it. So, uh, if you haven't seen or played this, this might give a little bit of a spoilers based on what you have or haven't seen already with this teaser. So, I I probably wouldn't uh, watch this if I were you. Now, if you don't care about the spoilers, then feel free keep on. And here we go. First, you're gonna want to come over here and uh, pull that. Which then opens the trap door that you would find out later from uncovering the derelict house footage to get the key. But if you get it, or find it, and pull it before you watch the footage, you can get the fuse. Which you couldn't get if you do it any other way. So you're going to want to put the fuse in. And then, leave the door and first bust a right. And go through here and you're going to open this drawer here and uncover the blank notebook. Now this blank notebook until you do everything which we're about to do now it doesn't do anything for you. It just sits there and it's blank. Just like the finger that everybody when they first played this thing was all confused on about what was going on. So what you're going to want to do is grab the finger out of this drawer then you're going to want to come upstairs and press this button right here. Now I try to read and remember the list so I wouldn't have to keep on uh, going back and forth and stopping. I still might because my memory might not be that great. So what you're going to do first things first, just go ahead and just grab this basement key because it will be needed and then you're going to want to come over here and grab this cellulite hand. Oops, wrong button. And then combine the hand and the finger to make the left dummy hand. Now, to get this process going, there's also right to the left of this, right here, this door that you can't get into whatsoever, there's a little writing on the wall. And the cellulite hands between these two TVs, a celluloid, whatever. Uh, and the thing says, five guests, uh, here, we'll, we'll read it. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Now, I just wanted you to hear that real quick, too, because that right there is the beginning of this secret thing. Once you start that, it starts everything off, and kind of from this point on, you're going to need to follow everything for sure to a T, from what I understand. If I'm wrong, uh, definitely leave it in the comments if there's anything that you can leave out of what I'm doing if you already know this. So yes, you're going to want to look at that. I uh, didn't speak, but there's a little note on there, a little rhyme, that pretty much is going to kind of give you a hint what you got to do. There's five murders around this house, and you have to kind of point them out, if you will. So the first thing you're going to do with your hand, the first thing you're going to be doing the pointing after your first giggle, is you're looking for your first echo. Your echo is pretty much a noise of what the murder or what happened for that murder. And your first one is right down here. Now there's all this rubble here, rubbish here, whatever you want to call it. You want to take your finger and you want to examine it. And it doesn't matter how you do it. I just like pointing it out like a gun. You point
there you go. You can see the screen kind of moves. If you're holding the controller, it will vibrate. And then uh, just point until you feel it, and then you'll hear a noise, pretty much the death noise, like you heard somebody pretty much was squished. Now, also, which I find pretty neat, is if you look over, it's not called a blank notebook no more. It's called the old notebook, and there's something scribbled inside. If you go ahead and hit A or your X, depending on if you're playing PlayStation or Xbox, and you're going to want to look at it, and if you hit A again, you can read a note inside. It says, Grace will not wake when the clock makes its chime. Her covers are heavy, and it's her last bit time. So basically, she was squished by a heavy-ass clock, and she's never getting up no more, because her covers are said clock, and she's dead, because that's her last bit time. So there you go. Now, if I remember, you're going to want to go this way next. And you're going to want to get the tape that's in here. In order to do that, you're going to need to get the bolt cutters that are down this hallway. So run down the hallway, open up the door, grab the bolt cutters. Don't mind the little baby dropping. And then you're going to run all the way back, and you're going to use the bolt cutters on it and get the house tape. Because it is an item that you will need to actually continue on. Now, if I'm correct, you go upstairs to the attic, but this time we're not going to be entering the room where we got the key in the hand and started all this secret stuff. You're going to want to go right past it to this hallway and look up at that light. <laughs> there you go. And that light right there will give you your second giggle. So, then you're going to want to leave the attic. Sorry. Just making a quick little glance. I'm pretty sure you got to go down that way. I just want to make sure. Uh, yep. Uh, from the looks of it, you go back downstairs, go back to the room where you picked up the blank notebook, and you're going to go into the basement, and you're going to pick up the lock pick. So we're going to run there, and this is the reason why you pick up the key, so you can actually lock that, and once you, uh, go down here, Now, you're going to pick this lot pick up. You're not going to want to go back upstairs yet. You're going to want to go in here. Now, if anybody's been in here, you're going to know that once you go in here, there's a few things that's going to happen. Your monster's going to spawn, and I think in order to get him to despawn, you have to make it out this basement alive with two items. The items, or at least the key. And uh, that, I think that will make it despawn. Now, of course, Jack is also going to lock this up. So, be careful. So, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here. This body right here. Press triangle Y, of course, depending on what system you're playing on. Your inventory button. And you're going to want to pull your finger out again. And you're going to want to point it at its head. There you go. And that will unlock your second echo, which will lead to your second entry. Phil tucked in tight. Uh, Phil's tucked in tight on his cold, stiff bed. He's having sweet dreams of not being dead. So there's your second murder. Now here's where things get a little more sticky. Depending on how you do this. Now what I'm going to do. And what I'm hoping it does. Because I don't know if it's if it will help me out or not. But I'm going to try to leave this door. And I'm going to try to get it so I can make it with a mop. I don't know. 
I just don't want to get hit, so that's the sucky part. Ah, oh, damn it! It hit me anyway. Damn it! I'm gonna die! Now, I really hope it doesn't matter if you get hit. I really, truly, truly, truly do, because I don't know. I've never done this yet, so we're about to find out together. The only thing I don't like about it, it's going to make me go upstairs for another thing, and I know it's going to make me go through my second stages of being infected. The first stage is when I'm about to leave this hallway, and the second one's when you're going upstairs like you're going to escape, which I'm not going to escape, but it's going to slow my character down, which sucks. Uh, if it doesn't work next time when I do this, I will do the same thing I did in my true and then to get the fuck out of there without getting hit, because that's some bully. Now, if I remember correctly, you're going to head to the kitchen, and you're going to get the actual axe from it, and then you're going to use the axe on a painting of a uh, butterface lady. <sighs> this is what I was talking about. You get touched, you get hit, you get infected... Right now, it's not going to slow you down. But when I go to do what I need to do upstairs, it is going to slow me down. So basically now what you're going to do, if I remember this correctly, uh, once you get the axe, you're going to walk up to the painting, and you're going to hit it. Now, this is the painting they're talking about. <laughs> That's going to give you your second giggle. Then you're going to want to walk into here. And you're going to the what I call the Blair Witch Closet. And you're going to want to, once again, pull the finger out and point it at this door. Which will lead to your third entry. Stanley was told to go hide and they seek, but they would let him out, no matter how hard, no matter how hard he shrieked. So that pretty much is your third entry. Now, a little tidbit that they don't get, tell you because, you know, they don't have a whole full setup of the actual controls. This next thing, you're just going to walk out to here, to this little mirror, and they want you to do a 180 turn, which means a quick turnaround. And depending on the actual system you're using, you're either hitting your B on your Xbox or your circle on your PlayStation control and pressing back or down on your uh, joystick. So it would be a little B and back or at the same time. <laughs> and that gives you your next giggle. Now, after that giggle, uh, you're supposed to walk upstairs into the attic. Okay? Now, this is the part where I was talking about where it's going to slow me down even more because I'm going to get even more infected. <coughs> Now, above the bed, you're going to see a blue and white cable. Open up your inventory, grab your finger, point at it. Which, in turn, gives you your fourth entry. Uh, Marlene was so proud of her white and blue necklace, it made her feel tall and left her quite breathless. <laughs> so basically, she was hung. Now after 
You do that one. Get out the room and pick up the black phone to your left, the small room that connects the attic to the L-shaped thing. And then you want to walk down to the basement, and the monster should not appear. Shouldn't. We'll find out. So you're going to pick up this phone. I don't know why you wouldn't want to pick it up, because that's all it does. But that's what it says to do, so that's what we had to do. Uh, now we're going to hit back down to the basement, where the bodies are, and we're gonna, the monster should not spawn. And you're going to hit back to the storage room where you pick up the key. Uh, this time we're going to crouch and look at the fl uh, the doll lying on the, uh, on the floor to get the final giggle. And then once that's done, we're going to be heading to the kitchen. So let's go ahead and go downstairs. Yeah, sorry about that. If he wasn't hurt, it wouldn't be all this. Now, hopefully he won't spawn. Crouch and look at this. There you go. Now what you're going to want to do is go back upstairs into the kitchen. And that pot of stew if you play the actual uh, tape whenever you've done your playthrough or not there's a, some stew on the table and you lift the lid up you're going to want to lift that lid up and once again point the finger at it so let's go ahead and pop the lid off of this Let's go through its animation. Alright. And that should be our last entry, the fifth murder. And Timmy did not mind the harsh light of four sons. Eyes required head and he did not have one. <laughs> so evidently that right there's Timmy. Yum. Now that should right there complete everything you need to do with the finger in the old blank notebook. And if you done everything correctly like we did there you should be able to go right back upstairs. And that one room to the right should be accessible now. Holy shit. That is new. Alright, uh, there it is. <laughs> it's got a little chair with something in it. <laughs> You're the best ever. And you get an old dirty coin. <laughs> that was creepy little laughing girl. So that's cool. That's it. So now basically, uh, depending on how you wanted to go about it, since I didn't watch the tape and I don't have access to the key to uh, leave the back door, I'm going to leave this way. Once again, get to see the actual infected ending. Which is fine. Ah! 
so there you go. I'm uh, pretty stoked. I have no idea what this uh, dirty coin is going to do, but from the sounds of it, it it's supposed to help you in-game, or it's an item that you, you would use in-game. Boy, you are nothing. Just a man or a thing. There you go. So I do hope you like what you've seen there, and if you haven't got that coin, go ahead and use this as a way to get it yourself, because what they're saying, it is going to be an item that you possibly could trade or use for in-game. So make sure you get it. <laughs> that way you are kind of set on the 24th when this awesome game comes out. Uh, so thank you for inviting me to your house once again for... Uh, another video on actually figuring out the secrets of the dummy finger. Uh, if you did like what you've seen, make sure you hit that little like button down below. Uh, any comments you may want to leave down there, feel free. That's what it's there for. And if you are new to the Awkward Jellyfish, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, and let your friends know about the channel and uh, maybe we can get the channel growing again. Let's see if we can get a little bit more subscribers for this year. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Uh, I, I don't know what else to pretty much say on that, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off so I don't keep on repeating myself and saying, oh yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I am Snicklefritz, and as always, you guys, stay classy.